time the kids got sick. So Isaac, you've been thinking and talking a lot about cars lately. Do you have a favorite car right now that you're like excited about or some of your favorites? I like large SUVs, so like Toyota Highlander, like the new ones. Kia Sportages are in my top ones. Laura, how are you feeling? Good. Laura's been sick. All right, those are showing normal temperature. That is so exciting. The doctor said she thought your fever would break. It's been so miserable. Are you feeling a little better today? Hopefully you get all better. <gasps> Did you sleep with Mickey? Yeah. Last week, I got him at this tiny store. I just wanna bring it home. And then you did? Yeah. Do you want some milk? Yeah. So the last week at our house has been crazy. Jeremy's been gone in DC, he had a great trip, and I was home with the kids, and that's usually not a big deal, but this time the kids got sick. Janae got terrible case of strep throat. She was just absolutely miserable. Then just as she was recovering from that, we got her antibiotics and everything, then Laura got really sick, and Laura has had a high fever now for a long time. It's been like six days she's been to the doctor, and we've had her checked out. We've had her checked for everything from strep to influenza to just bacterial infections, but she's really struggling with hydration, and so we've just been doing everything we can to take care of her. But when there's sick kids, especially little sick kids in a house, it basically shuts down the entire house and the entire family because I've been sitting on the couch just holding these babies. So this is the kids' uniform when they're not having PE. You said you're reading Harry Potter right now? Yeah, it's awesome. Most Which one? The first one, Sorcerer's Stone. Have fun at school. Love you, Dad. Love you too, man. So Laura has spent the bulk of the last week laying here with a jacket and a blanket on, so it's a good sign to me that she's wanting to get down on the ground and color and write. Her teacher sent home some work she's missed, and she wanted to work on it today. So Laura, you've been sick for a lot of days. Do you have any advice for kids that are sick? Watch shows and on the strap too, and drink Gatorade. Drink Gatorade? And drink water. So we usually try not to have a lot of screen time around here, but with the little girls both being sick and Jeremy being gone, that rule has gone out the window this last week and we have been vegging out big time. The kids' favorite thing to watch is Jay House. We don't usually watch it a lot as a family and so it's been really fun to sit down and watch it together. It's funny though, my biggest observation from watching our old ones is first, I miss our old house. And second, Laura and Janae are pretty much clones of each other. That's how I feel about that. Can you say balloon? Good work. Oh, are you signing it? Balloon. Balloon. That was you. I love the old videos. What do you love about them? I like seeing me being small. Yeah? Like before you were like a huge tall person? Tall person. I'm done with Harry Potter 1. You just finished it? Yeah. What do you think? It's awesome. I'm impressed. This is a long book. Yeah. What are you making, Elise? A donut. Ta-da! That looks yummy. What makes tiny things so cute? Mm -hmm. I don't know either. So this is what Laura has looked like for a lot of this week. We've got some water, I'm trying to keep her hydrated. Oh my goodness, the clay creations are so adorable. Um, what is this? A poop emoji. Awesome. <laughs> so what do you think of clay as a kind of art? I love it. It's like amazing. I can make whatever I want and they can stay. We've only ever played with Play-Doh before. So clay is kind of a cool new medium. Okay, I love this strawberry. Where are we heading? To the, the swinging park. The swinging park. That way! Yep. So last week I was in DC almost the entire week meeting with legislators, with the FTC commissioners, with news. So I'm coming in for my first TV interview.
We're finishing up the interview out here with this great shot of the Capitol behind us. Consider all the gamers out there. Opposite effect of what they're trying to accomplish. I'm so grateful that the commissioners and legislators have been willing to hear our concerns. It's also been really excited to see how much our petition has grown. It's now up to over 400,000 signatures or even more now if you're watching this later. Like it's continuing to grow and grow and grow. And we've also seen that over 70,000 creators and viewers have sent in comments to the FTC. We have until December 9th, so we would still love to get more people to participate to make that message clear that more regulation of YouTubers is not the right answer and is going to cause more harm for kids than good. The very first thing I made. Whoa. Which one's your favorite? I don't know. I made this Pokemon to your dad. That's a penguin. This is my avocado I made. Whoa. I think my favorite is this. This is a pineapple. That's the watermelon I made. How do you do it? I just put them together like this. What do you want me to make? A football. Oh, but foot. Okay. It even has like the actual texture. Isn't this so cute? There's a football. What planet is this? My other planet that I get lost. It's like an exact earth, but then a ring around. What are these? Clay. Can we do some of these? There's tutorials on YouTube, you know, like the drawing videos we yeah. watch. You watching Jay House? How you feeling? Okay. Looks like you're working on something here. Mm-hmm. What'd you create? I created a city with one of my friends and we've been like making our own cities and like designing all the stuff. My favorite part was making the freeway and like the ways that you enter and exit. You're also naming all the different types of cars. Yeah, so like for example, eight, you turn it over. Eight is a Toyota Tacoma 2016. Some friends of ours who know that Laura's been sick for like forever just surprised us and dropped off a bunch of different drinks for her to try and some homemade chicken noodle soup. Our biggest struggle with Laura is keeping her hydrated right now and so having a variety is going to be such a blessing. How sweet is that? Three different flavors of Gatorade and homemade chicken noodle soup. How was school today, Cubby? Great. How much of the day is the teacher and the other students talking Spanish? Probably most of the day. Wow. How about you guys? Like anything fun happened today? I had a Spanish test with my new Spanish teacher. How'd it go? Good. We're practicing for like the holiday thing. It's the Puerto Rican Unidad, which is like a Puerto Rican celebration because today actually is the day that Christopher Columbus found Puerto Rico. Rico. So like there's a big celebration and yeah, we're practicing a dance for it. We're doing Pirates of the Caribbean. You have like a whole pirate costume, right? Yeah. We're heading to the park. Let's go this way. So you decided to go barefoot? Yeah. That means on the playground I can climb better. And that it's fun to play, huh? Mm -hmm. It's also fun to eat dinner. Yeah. Daddy, do you want to hold my hand as we go? Ready? I said yeah. one race me. Okay, ready? Two, one, go. Ready? See if you can beat her. Grateful to see Elise using some distraction parenting techniques there on Janae. We'll take it. As a parent, when I'm feeling impatient or stressed, I tend to want to use punishment or threats to get my kids to do things. And so often, the better choice is creative distraction play. It starts up in your mouth, and it goes into your esophagus, and then it goes into your stomach. And in your stomach, the food that you chewed up and mixed with your saliva gets mixed with gastric juices. So your stomach has what inside of it? Estophis gas. Gastric juices. So then it goes from your stomach to where? Where does it go next? Wait. I forgot. Your small? Intestines. Your small intestines. So for dinner tonight, we did frozen crispy tacos. 
Now we're trying to get everyone ready for bed and getting everything ready for school tomorrow. So I'm so scared of the other kids getting sick. So we've been doing those little vitamin C packets. I don't know if they make a difference, but I'm willing to try anything. How does it taste? Very tart, but it's You got the good. raspberry one? Yeah. The orange one tastes kind of like orange soda. It's got his jammas on. Do you have everything ready for school tomorrow? No. Okay, let's do it. There's a bad guy in my room. There's a bad guy in your room? Mm -hmm. Nene, come here. There's a bad guy in my room. Do you want to go up and check it out with me? Yeah, come it's here. pretty dark in there. I'm going to close my eyes like that. You're going to close your eyes because of the bad guy? I'll take you and I think we'll be safe, okay? Okay. Let's check it out. There's no bad guy. There's no bad guy. Should we get your jammas on? Yeah. Yeah. And it just sneaked up to us. Then I be scared. Then I say, like that. Then there's a bad guy. Then tell us there's a bad guy there. So you turn on the light. So this one's a bad guy. No bad guy. There is no bad guy. You're safe. I keep you safe, okay? No, that's the bad guy. That is? But, but a spider is the bad guy. The spider? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty scared of the dark. It's scary when it's dark. I turn the light on though, right? Yeah. Except when we sleep, we can sleep in the dark. Okay. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. When I'm feeling scared of the dark, I just try to think happy thoughts. Should we turn the lights off? Good night, say yes, out. Let's turn the lights off. I've ever done in my whole entire life.